Well, good morning. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and I'm back with the stories that are still making headlines this Monday in the country. Now, a UPDF soldier was killed over the weekend in a gunfire exchange with assailants while on patrol in Kapeka town in Nakaseke district. Police said two of the assailants were also shot dead. It's reported that the assailants attacked the security personnel consisting of both UPDF and police officers on a joint patrol at Kapeka playground where there was a music show. Got a bad incident last night where unknown assailants attacked our, a, a combination of UPDF and police and a joint patrol. And in the process, we lost a soldier, but two of the attackers were also killed and their gun captured. So I appeal to the community to remain calm in that security is still tight and we're managing the situation. But at the same time, I appeal to, wait to the perpetrators to avoid such attempts because they are going to be lethal to them. The intention, they, they, we, we, we suspect two, one to grab the guns as the, it has been happening elsewhere or to rob the money that was accruing out of that concert that had been staged in that location. Meanwhile, some people on social media have been saying that this country is on fire because of uh, the attacks on uh, security. Others saying that uh, we are seated on a time bomb. But uh, the deputy IGP said this country is not on fire and uh, he promised that all the assailants will be arrested. That the country is on fire. This country is not on fire because as security agencies we are in charge and we are in control and we shall have them arrested. Yes, there could be some mistakes within the security forces, but they are not fundamental. They, 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 we can work together as security agencies to ensure that this, is, this matter is solved. And in Parliament, some members want President Museveni to come out and address the country on the security situation in the country. But the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Mong, said it's not necessary for now. Let the ministers responsible first do their part. Parliament. About the security situation from the area of Karamoja to Western Uganda, the whole country. The, the President of Uganda appointed the ministers to work under different ministries. But I understand Honorable Silwani's issue. He must be missing to see the president. And now that he wants to see the president, maybe that's why he's saying that Musei should come and sit here and so that he can be able to see him directly. But for now, let the ministers first work. Well, in other news, UPDF has shot and uh, killed one of the people suspected to have been part of uh, the raid on the Gaddafi military barracks a few weeks ago. UPDF spokesperson Brigadier General Felix Kulaije says the suspect was gunned down in an operation over the weekend. The army was also able to recover two rifles which were stolen from the August 17th raid. Well, in other news, Fund for Peace, a non-government organization, has named Uganda among the countries whose stability is considered fragile. The report highlights violent conflicts and uh, human rights violations in Uganda. This NGO is based in Washington and uh, this report, according to their recent study, put Uganda among the 14 countries in Africa whose stability is fragile. In East Africa, Uganda and Burundi are the only countries on the list. However, when the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Horembo Okelo Oriem, was questioned on this report, he said, if Uganda is as fragile as they claim, then what is the situation in South Sudan? 
What is the situation in the DRC where there is civil war? You see the contradiction. Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, Minister Okelo Oriem's response on this report by Fund for Peace, an NGO based in Washington. <music> And finally, from the entertainment industry, Levickson had a concert over the weekend at Kololo Independence Grounds, and uh, the attendance was good. Uh, Ugandans came over in big numbers and supported the man of God. At this event, uh, Dizaluzinda finally confirmed that it's true herself and uh, Levickson are in a relationship, insisting that what we have been seeing in pictures and the video is true. So if you are still doubting and maybe thinking that it was just a stunt, Dizaluzinda finally confirmed that it's true, they're in a relationship and uh, they're dating seriously. Well, right here on The Buzz UG, we wish Levixen and uh, Dizaluzinda all the best in their relationship. <music> That is the latest update I have for you this Monday morning. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Audio jungle.